The best way to learn accounting or anything really is to use what's called spaced retention. And that is where you learn a concept, say in February or March, but rather than just revise it at the end of the year in October for the exam, you do a little bit each day to try and help you retain what you've learned. And one of the really easy way to do that is through little short sharp games. So I've made a bunch of games for VCE accounting. Um, I'm going to put the link. This one's called Trippy Transactions. Test your knowledge of debits and credits. So I'll put a link to this in the description underneath and you just click on it and it'll come up on a website called Scratch. And it can look a bit weird if you've never used Scratch before. But basically what we've got is the game here on the left and then some instructions here on the right. And it says click the green flag and then play. For each transaction, which set of ledgers is correct? And you get one point for right or negative three for wrong. And you've got to score 10 points. Just a note, this is designed for VCE accounting in Victoria in Australia. You can use it for any accounting course in the world. There'll be parts of it that apply to you. But um, yeah, it's designed specifically for our course. So it has the things uh, unique to our uh, particular subject. And what you do is you says click on the green flag. So we'll do that. And then we're going to click play. Now, what actually looks better is if we put it in full screen here. So we're going to click on this button and it looks a bit better. You can also play this on your phone. It looks really good on your phone and you can just use your finger instead of the mouse. And what you can do is test yourself on a particular topic if you want. So if you learned about cash transactions in February, well, just do a little bit, you know, once a week, play, play a game of cash transactions or you can do returns of inventory product and period cost, etc. Or maybe you might want to learn or test yourself on absolutely everything in the course. It's a good way to get really random questions. Um, yeah, and you've got to test absolutely everything. Just to, for the example, I'm going to start at the beginning and test myself on some cash transactions and I've got to get 10 points. And what you'll get is a bunch of transactions. And it says here, there was a loan repayment made for $400. And we've got two sets of ledgers here and we've got to pick which one's correct. And we either click the correct button on the left or the correct button on the right. So we can see in this case, I'm gonna go with this one because it's gonna decrease a liability, so that's a debit, and it's gonna decrease an asset, in this case bank, so that's a credit, and click on that, and I got one point. Then it says, paid $3,200 to accounts payable total T's. So, I've got two options again. I've got a debit to bank or a credit to accounts payable. That's actually wrong, um, but I'm gonna click on it. it should, the answer should be the one on the right. I'm gonna click here and it'll go negative three. And that gets me down from, I had a score of one, now I'm on negative two. And basically what you're trying to get is to get to a total of 10 points. And when you do that, the game will reset. So, um, or sorry, it will say you've finished. And then what you can do is start again and try something else. Or if you ever want to restart, you hit the green flag, hit play and test yourself on a different topic. And it's a really good way just to reinforce what you've learned, but it's also fun and it takes two, three minutes tops. So you want to do a little bit every day or every day at least that you have accounting. Um, you can do it when you're waiting for the bus or on the tram or whatever, but try and play these games as much as you can. And there's a whole bunch of other games I've made, which I'll upload and put descriptions up on YouTube here. So you can click on those and see how to play them too.